This one's back. Back again. And Alexa's back. In this shed. <laughs> are back in the shed. I have Anakin Starkiller's next project with us here. This is his Kylo Ren, his stunt Kylo Ren. This stunt was first revealed at Celebration 7, before we even really knew anything about The Force Awakens, and I liked it ever since. So what Starkiller did was he took his reference, he modeled it up, and then he had the uh, shop cast it in Risen. So it's pretty heavy. The shop also painted it by hand. See if it focuses in on it. It's actually uh, fairly heavy being cast and risen. I have a um, KR cross guard in the basement, and this actually weighs more than the cross guard, so it, it's it's beefy. So the cross guard comes to you like this, but you are responsible for installing the red power wire, the belt clip, and the staples. So this video is going to serve as an instruction video on how to do that. So let me go gather what we need and report back. So realistically, we're going to need a power drill and this Irwin number 36 drill bit. The uh, part number I'll throw down here. Uh, this measures uh, 2.71 millimeters and that's perfect for the red power wire. Ironically, the screws I picked up at the hardware store for the belt clip, I'm going to use the same drill bit. It's going to work perfectly. So, let me get talking about the belt clip. This is the belt clip here. On the Risen Stunt, uh, they just painted it black and roughed up the edges. So we're going to use my favorite black, the 7578 Flat Black by Rust-Oleum. When I was looking the reference over, I couldn't determine if these were Phillips head screws or square headed screws. Um, I picked up some Phillips head 440 screws at my local hardware store, but, um, being that the prop shop made these in, uh, the UK, I imagine that they were metric. They do fit the roll though when installed, so I'm going to go with these. Um, it's so hard. It's wicked hard to determine if it's square or Phillips. I actually asked a friend of mine who has... No idea about props or Star Wars or hardware or anything like that. And she said, oh, it looks like a strip square screw. So I said, thanks a lot. But anyway, um, you can't go wrong either way, Phillips or square head screw. If, I'm not going to strip them, but if you strip them to make it look like the on-screen prop, then what, whatever you want to do. So I decided to go with the uh, Phillips head screw, and uh, I'm going to use those. Either way, it won't hurt. I mean, we can't really tell what exactly was used, so. So it really comes down to what you want. Uh, another thing we have to do is these 10 millimeter staples. We're gonna need four of these, and we're going to mold them around the wire. I already made mine experimenting with this, but I'm gonna show you how to do that. So the first thing I think we should do is mold the staples, then we're gonna paint the staples, paint the belt clip, and then start drilling our holes in the ribbon. So let's clean this up and get ready to work. So here's our staples, our 10 millimeter staples. I cut a very small piece of wire off mine. Uh, Starkiller gave me an extra set of wire, so do not cut yours off. Uh, this is just to make it easier for the video. Again, do not cut your red wire. First, we're gonna break a staple off. We got one, right? Next, I'm just gonna put it around the red wire like this. I'm gonna mold it around the red wire, like that. That one pinch is perfect. See how it's kinda of like oblonged and stuff? That's perfect. Next, I'm just going to Bend the feet just a little itty bit. So it looks like this now. 
That's perfect, all right? You're gonna need to do that, do that four times. Four of them. Next, we're gonna get these staples ready to paint along with the belt clip. One extra one. You only need four, but I got an extra one in there. So I'm gonna start marking out where to drill for the wires and the staples. But the thing is, there's so many of these made and they were so inconsistent. Uh, you really need to just stick with one photo and, and go with that. At least that's what I'm going to do. Um, since the celebration photo, that stunt had such an impact on me, I'm gonna make this a tribute to that. So um, I'm going to copy where the wire goes and where the clips go. And the wire on that stunt is fairly different than the rest because it, it hangs to this edge. Uh, it hangs to this edge over here more. So um, I'm gonna check the reference over one more time and start marking this stuff out. So here we go. So I marked out the uh, holes where we're gonna drill. Big one for the power wire. Two little ones here for the first clip. Second clip, which is actually broken off on the uh, risen stump, but I'm gonna add it anyway. Third, and then the fourth. So I'm gonna set that up now to start drilling. The staples have dried, so I flipped them over to do the other side. Again, if you missed it, this is our drill bit we're going to use. The Irwin number 36, which is 2.71 millimeter. The part number is 81136. It is very important not to slip. Um, it also may be wise to wrap the area to make sure you don't slip and damage the hilt. This next drill bit that I'm using, I just pull it out of my toolbox, it measures a uh, one and a half millimeter. So I'm gonna use that to drill for the staples. So if you go into the hardware store, you might as well grab a one and a half millimeter drill bit. This you have to be very careful of because you don't want to slip. It being on a curvature, it's a little bit difficult to drill, but it shouldn't be too bad. A little pilot hole there. One down, and do the other one. Now I have to drill for the wire to go up inside here. So now this really comes down to you. It kind of looks like the red wire is going in at a 90, but we really don't have that good enough reference so I'm gonna try and tuck it underneath. I don't know if I can get the wire to bend like that though. So I'm, I'm gonna give it my best. The thing is, is I have to drill like this now and I don't wanna hit here. So you have to be very, very careful. I'm just gonna put a piece of green tape, double layer. This will give me a little bit of protection in case I slip or I cough or whatnot. But I'm going to go, I'm going to try and go right here. Making sure I'm away from that green tape. Okay, I'm gonna try and see if that works in there. Oh wow, it works perfect. Okay, yep. Exactly what I wanted. Kind of wasn't expecting that. All right, so the paint's dried. We're gonna start installing my, my staples. I'm gonna slide this over here. So you may or may not need to use super glue to install these, depending on the size um, 
little bit you use. As you can see, I don't think I'm gonna use, I need to use super glue on that. That one's in there. That's one. You may need to cut the legs a little bit to get it to fit in. Go. Now this is the one that is broken off on the real cloth, but I'm going to put it on there anyway. That one I want to sleep with the cloth on the next one. But I am going to trim just a little bit off the, trim a little bit, and I mean very little. So far I haven't had to use any glue. One more. See how it fits in there just like that. I'm gonna cut it right here, I think. So the real prop, it actually hangs low on the real prop. Right there, just like that. There's a little edge right here that you see. So I'm gonna mimic the same thing. But first, I'm going to mark for my screws. And this is the same size drill bit that I use for the red wire. Oh my god, if I can find those screws, I don't know, I don't know where I put those screws. Oh, I wonder. I'm just gonna make a little pilot hole. Okay, I'm gonna do the first one. All right, so this is risen. It doesn't like to be tapped. So I'm gonna use a pilot hole first, and then I'm gonna use the drill bit for the screws. Should be wearing eye protection and a mask right now. All right, so the belt clip, the edges are um, hit with some sandpaper. So I just have some junk uh, 220 sandpaper that I'm gonna Rough up the edges with. And then the top, I'm actually gonna take some steel wool. And I'm gonna buff the top of it. Just like that. I'm gonna put the first screw in. Like Starkiller said, this risen does not like to be tapped. But actually, the screw's doing all the work for me. I don't, I was gonna, my plan was to glue these in, but it's working. Yeah, it works good. All right, so now I'm gonna do my pilot hole for the second screw. Again, this is a 2.71 millimeter drill bit. Okay, so in the reference photo, I mean, I don't know how far you wanna go with this, but in my reference, this wire is like this. So I'm debating, I'm gonna use some glue gun to get that off there. I'm debating on putting one little dab of glue there. 
to hold it down. I'm debating on that. I don't know how important that is to me. Ah, how we're gonna do it. We'll see if it stays. So far, I'm wicked happy with how it came out. That completes Star Killer's kit. But I want to take mine just one step closer. The There are so many of these props made that there's really no consistency to them, like I said previously. Um, some pieces are missing, some pieces are there, some wires are there, some wires aren't there. Because I'm doing this as a tribute to the Celebration 7 photo, I want to add the blue wires. So I actually have... So this is an FTPE wire that I use for FXing. And it's a little bit lighter blue than what's on the prop, but it's pretty damn close. It sure does look like it's the same gauge, so I'm going to install those wires now. Again, the reference isn't that great, but I determined where to drill the two um, blue ones down low and up top. The ones up top on the Celebration 7 photo, it's closer than the bottom. So um, I believe this was... Uh, 1.5 millimeter wire, so I'm going to check, see if that uh, is going to work with my drill bit. Just use my backup green tape here. Rightfully, I should have drilled these holes at the, all at the same time, but I wanted to do Star Killer's complete kit and then fool around with my own modification. So. I'm gonna take some flat black and use that on the holes, color them in. So that concludes the assembly video for Star Killer's new um, Kylo Ren stunt saber. As you can see, it's pretty straightforward. We just used basic power drill, drill bit, some super glue, and maybe some pliers here or there. These will be in a store very shortly, so keep an eye out for that. I hope this video helped you understand the assembly process and how simple it is. Realistically, it took me maybe 35 minutes um, to throw this thing together. And uh, with all that said, I want to thank you all for watching. Keep an eye out for the next video. This is Hallowax. Out.